So what's performance tuning? You've already designed, built and deployed a solution, but it is not meeting your performance needs. Then you are seeing that your SLAs are not being met by the application. So now you need to go and figure out what is the problem. This results in tuning the problem. But what is a problem? Whenever we talk about a problem, we need to know the root cause behind why that is happening. Whenever we talk about root cause, the term that we associate is diagnosis. When we talk about diagnosis, I am always reminded about a physician. The most important task of a physician is to identify the root cause based on the symptoms that the patient is undergoing. A symptom could be temperature, it could be pain, it could be whatever the patient is undergoing. But then the root cause, the reason why the symptoms are appearing could be many, many. We are lucky being in the software field because when we see that there's a performance issue, we would like to reproduce it. And then we can try out options and then we find a fix and then we put it back on production. Imagine the case of a physician. He does not have a test case to go and test it out. He has to do it on the patient. So there's a lot of science involved to find out how to go about it. The process of diagnosis is nothing but identifying a root cause. And to do this, we need data. We need data to identify how from symptoms we can arrive at root cause. And we will go into this in detail as we proceed in this playlist. Of course, trace files, alert log files, AWR reports, ASH reports, and many other means of digging into data is available, just like how a doctor might check your pulse, might check your temperature, might ask for some tests to be done to identify what's happening inside. Now, once you identify the root cause, then identifying the fix is actually much easier. It's like telling how is a pharmacist different from a physician. A physician's job is to identify the root cause and then he gives you a prescription which you can take to the pharmacist to get the medication. You might wonder, I could have gone to the pharmacist and get the medication upfront. But only when you know what is the root cause can you get the right medication. Similarly, when it comes to database tuning and troubleshooting, troubleshooting enables you to identify the root cause, then you look at solutions of tuning that. So when we talk about tuning, what do we talk about? There could be SQLs that are bad, SQLs that are consuming a lot of resources. It could be just that the database was not configured sufficiently. It could be that there are too many different types of requests coming. Can I manage that better? Can I add indexes? Can I use resource manager? Various tools available through which we can identify how to go about tuning. Can I change the way an object is stored? For example, instead of a heap table, can I use an index organized table? Can I use a cluster table? Should I use materialized views? Should I use partitioning? Now there are n number of options, but then depending on the problem, the solution would be specific to that problem. The symptom could be SQL taking time, but the solution may not apply in every specific scenario. So tuning is about applying the right solution for a given case. It could also be that there are weights. What are weights? I will discuss in another video. Sometimes it is just about weights that you need to solve, not about other options.